Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. I hope that you had a wonderful time off with your families and that you got to celebrate the holiday spirit and you had a very wonderful time. I am finally back somewhat in the swing of things because the crazy festive season is over and therefore I actually have time to film an empties video. This is my very large bag that I throw my empty products into and it is now making me realize I should probably get a smaller container to hold everything in because I have just been putting this off for probably the past month because I'm like, oh, I have space in here, it'll be fine, but it is now to the point where I'm just like, this is gonna be a really long video if I don't get to it. It's already going to be a long video, I can tell just from how much is in here, but it's going to be an even longer video if I don't take care of it now. So, with that out of the way, I'm sure you guys are all very excited after hearing that. In any case, grab a snack, grab a drink, grab something, and get comfy, because this is going to be a long video. So, I will start with some of the items that were not in the bag, because I'm afraid they're going to leak. So, we first off have, no surprise here, a Sephora waterproof eye makeup remover. I showed this in my last empties. Um, I'm surprised there's not more than one in here. Basically, this is one of those two product, like there's a, a clear part on top and a blue part on the bottom, and you shake it together, and then it forms this sort of bluish liquid. Um, and this is what I use to take off any eye makeup at the end of the night. So I'll just put it onto a cotton pad and hold it there for like 30 seconds and then it usually takes up most of it. Sometimes it's a little bit harder with waterproof mascara, but this stuff doesn't burn my eyes. It's like $14 for this huge bottle and you get like almost 7 ounces. I really like this and you can pick it up at any Sephora. So I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for a waterproof makeup remover liquid. <laughs> Next I have something that I just finished up yesterday actually and that is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in Pomegranate Acai and this is just a granulated sugar scrub. I use these before I shave. Um, I don't use like, a shave lotion or a shave gel. I tend to like this and so I'll, I use this like once a week and I usually go through this size tub in like three months. Like it lasts me a long time but I like the formula of these. I just didn't like the pomegranate scent. So if you're looking for an exfoliator, try this. The last thing that I don't have in the actual bag is the Dove Purely Pampering Nourishing Body Wash in Pistachio Cream and Magnolia. This smells heavenly. It just smells like kind of a sweet, nutty scent. I don't know how to even describe it. Like, if you have a drugstore or a, like, grocery store that sells Dove body washes, look for this. I, this is my favorite. I love the Dove body washes. I'm sure any of them do a really awesome job. This is just the scent that I like the most. I would definitely suggest this. All right, so into the actual bag. The first things that I have here, I actually just finished one of these up the other day. I have two of the Dead Sea Elements Wet Cleansing and Makeup remover towelettes. I will use these specifically for removing swatches or removing excess makeup off of the back of my hand or off of my fingertips or whatever, but basically this is what I'll use in the morning um, if I have any excess makeup on my hands because I'm not going to use really expensive and really good quality makeup remover wipes to essentially use like baby wipes. But I like these, they're from TJ Maxx, they cost $4 a pack and you get 60 of them, so for me these are the ones that I like to get. Next thing in here that I have is the L'Oreal Total Repair Damage Erasing Balm. This is usually, it usually looks yellow. Um, it's just a giant hair mask. I've heard it compared to the macadamia nut one, and if you don't want to shell out the like 18 to like 40 bucks for a tub that's this size, this is a really good alternative to it. it always left my hair super soft, super smooth, was never tangly. Um, the only thing that I will say about it is one, it kind of has, a, definitely has like a spa, like expensive 
shampoo type smell and then the other thing is that because <laughs> it's so moisturizing sometimes when I would rinse out of my hair it would make the floor of my shower slippery so I would just use that as a caution but I think once I use up a whole bunch of other masks this would be one to go back to. Next up I am just going to really quickly go through all of my project pan items. If you don't want to see this I will put a annotation down below that tells you where to skip to so that if you haven't seen my uh, finish my 12 pans of Christmas project which I will also link that finale video down below if you haven't seen that yet then you will not find out the progress of these items. So yeah, let's start. So first up I have the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Nourishing Hand Cream. This is a really, really moisturizing hand cream and it smells like pumpkin and pecans and it smells sweet. I really, really like this stuff. I think it's great if you have really dry hands. Next up is my simple micellar cleansing water. I talked about this. I used basically this and some Big Lots cleansing rounds and I would just use this to remove foundation off the back of my hand. I don't think that it's anything special. I think you can just use like a cheap makeup removing liquid as well. I don't think it's worth the money but you do get a lot of products so if you haven't tried it I mean you could give it a whirl but I don't think it's anything special for actually removing makeup. And also just a quick note about these don't buy Big Lots cleansing pads. Don't do it, you'll waste the like dollar and a half on these. Next up I have the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. This is for oil control, it's from Urban Decay. I got this and as you can see by the lines in the back, I finished it up, I finished this much up in two weeks. It. I don't think this is worth it for the price. I think it's, if you have the money for it, you can spend it, but I think that the L'Oreal one is really good. The NYX Matte Setting Spray is really good. And I'm sure that there are others out there as well that are good, but this was not worth my money. Next up, I have actually five pocket backs, and four of them are from my 12 Pans of Christmas project, and one of them just was getting really, really old, and as you can see, it's really soupy, and it just, I think it expired, and this was the Cinnamon Raisin Cookie. I use all of these before I put on makeup in the morning. I really like this actual product. These were all really good scents. I had Winter Candy Apple, Pink Crazy Daisy, Creamy Pumpkin, and One Hot Mom. I used up all of these in about the span of four months. I used this for a couple of weeks and I just noticed my hands were super sticky afterwards which told me that it was time to throw it away. So I have five pocket backs. Next up I have the Jergens BB Body Perfecting Cream. This was something that I used on my arms for the first month of the finish of the 12 pans of Christmas and basically I just I used it pretty quickly it had kind of a weird scent but it definitely made my arms feel smoother so not my favorite like hand cream body cream but not horrible next up I have my Maybelline baby lips this was just a pink tinted lip balm um, Nothing special. I think these are kind of waxy and I don't know how much moisture they really provide, but when you want something to feel like it's moisturizing and you want a little bit of tint, it can be nice to wear this at night. I just don't know if you needed something super hydrating. I don't know how much this would fit the bill, I guess is my thing about it. Next up I have three wallflowers. I usually like to put these in so I can just reflect on which scents I liked. I had Ocean Driftwood. This smelled amazing and it smelled like Abercrombie and Fitch in my room and it was amazing and like it's it was just so nice. Um, yeah this was oh my god so good. <laughs> like it literally smelled like the store every single time that I walked by my room. It was so nice. Next I had Tiki Beach which I don't really I don't know if it kind of smelled like ocean driftwood. It didn't smell super different from it. I thought it was okay, but I definitely like the ocean driftwood. And then I just finished a pumpkin apple a couple weeks ago. Another quintessentially fall type of scent. It just smelled like apples and pumpkin and sweet and sort of nutty flavors. Like it was pretty good. Obviously it wasn't as good as the ocean driftwood. Um, but yeah, it was nice. Uh, it was a nice warm scent for the fall. So those are my wallflowers. 
Next up, I have something that I actually haven't used in quite some months. Um, it's the Ulta Rain Coat, which is basically a waterproof top coat for non-waterproof mascaras. And what it is, is basically it just gives you this gel-like material that you can just sort of put onto your eyelashes on any non-waterproof mascara and it helps to not make them smudge, it helps so that they don't transfer. I have relatively like watery and oily under eyes so something like this when I was wearing something that was non-waterproof was really really helpful. If you're someone like me who typically has an issue with smudging or transferring this is really good for your non-waterproof mascaras. Next up, I actually finished up in eyeshadow, and this is the first eyeshadow duo that I ever bought when I was 12 years old, so it's at least 10 years old. Um, it was part of a duo. It's a Clinique duo called Strawberry Fudge, and you have this brown shade, and then if I turn it around, you can see what shade it was. It was just like a pinky shade with a gold sort of reflex running through it and I had had this like I said for like 10 years and then I hit pan on it probably in like January or February of the past year and then I made a point to use it up and I used it up in August, September, one of those months, but in late late summer, early fall, and it was the first eyeshadow that I had ever fully used up, so I wanted to include it in my empties. And I know it's a little gross, but it's it's my little it's it's my first eyeshadow duo. So it's very it's very sentimental to me. I'm sorry if I'm blinding you. <laughs> but yeah, that is my eyeshadow duo. Next up in makeup, I have the Mega Length Wet n Wild Mascara, and this was just a lengthening mascara. I used it for, I think, the entire month of like September, October. I really like this for lengthening my lashes sort of as a priming mascara. It was really, really nice. I think once I go through some of my other priming mascaras, I will definitely buy this again. Um, just because it is like a $3 mascara and it did a really good job. So if you're looking for a cheap priming type mascara or you're looking for a really nice lengthening mascara that's cheap, try this one out. So the last makeup item that I have in here is the Neutrogena Shine Control Primer. I believe I finished this soon after I made my last empties video. It's been sitting in here for a while. And this is just a mattifying primer. It's kind of a lotion-y consistency and I would just put it all over my face. I think it does a pretty good job. I've tested it in cold weather and in hot weather. I like it for both of them. It is more expensive because it is Neutrogena, but I do really like it and I think it's worth the money because it probably lasted me like a year and I finally used it up. So I really like this. All right, I have two Batiste Dry Shampoos. One of them is the Bright and Lively Floral Essence Fragrance and then one of them is the Cool and Crisp Fresh Fragrance. These are my go-to dry shampoo at the moment. I've also used the Suave Keratin one and I've also used the Pst brand, but I like these right now. Um, I think they do a really good job of keeping oils out of my hair. I do notice now that I have darker roots that they do leave a white cast. However, they have a chocolate, like dark brown hair sort of one. So if you needed something for dark brown hair, then there is an option. But I just think that these do such a great job at just eliminating any excess oils in your hair. And they last me about a month. You could get some that are less expensive, but they're not going to do as good of a job. Or you could spend more and it might not do any better of a job than this. So I think that these are a really good compromise between price and effectiveness. All right, I just found some more makeup remover wipes. I have the makeup remover cleansing towelettes from Neutrogena. These are ones that I would use at the end of the night if I just was too lazy to pick up my makeup like actually really nicely. This was like, I wanna go to bed type of cleansing cloth. And then I had another one, which was the Rite Aid, basically the Rite Aid version of these. Um, 
these are not good. I think I originally bought them to be used for if I had to run from work to the gym and they just did not work for that purpose. So I think they got downgraded to removing swatches off of my hand. And then the last set that I have in here are the Absolute Makeup Cleansing Tissues. And these are also from uh, TJ Maxx. There were 60 of them in the pack and these were just some that I would use for removing swatches off of my hands. I thought that they did an excellent job for that. Like I've said before, I really like getting cheap makeup wipes from TJ Maxx because they have a huge variety of them. Typically, they, you know, will do a good job of removing stuff off of your hands and they're not very expensive. So these are three more makeup removing wipes. So the last few things in here that I have are kind of random. Um, I'll start with this one. This is the John Frieda Brilliant Brunette Color Protecting Moisturizing Shampoo. Um, I think that the John Frieda line of shampoo and conditioners are awesome. I tend to have an issue if something is too heavy, my hair will get really greasy a lot faster. Um, I tend to wash my hair like every three days. So if it gets greaser before then, then I know that something's too heavy. And this is a perfect shampoo and conditioner to not have that happen. Um, I particularly use the brunette one um, because right now my hair is brown, but I've used the red one when I've had red in my hair. They do a really good job of helping extend the life of your color, but also they just help my hair not to feel greasy. They It doesn't feel dry. It helps it to feel moisturized and to not be tangly. Like, I really like this line of shampoo. Right now I'm using the OGX like coconut milk line. I definitely think when I finally run out of the OGX ones, I'm going back to John Frieda because it always does really nice things for my hair. Next up, I have something that I am basically distashing, and that is the Boots Expert Shine Control Lotion. This is something for mattifying your skin, um, and it has witch hazel in it, a couple of other mattifying ingredients, I can't remember what they are, but this just was starting to smell funky, and I've had it for quite a while, and even when it was good, it smelled funky, like it's not a very pleasant scent, so if you're sensitive to smells, especially strong smells, you're not gonna like this. Um, I thought it did a decent job at helping with shine controlling, but I don't think it was great. Um, I think that there are other oil controlling products out there that do better things than this. I have another de-stash product, and I think I just de-stashed this because I think I realized it was breaking me out or it was clogging my pores or something, but it was the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer. And this was just way too silicone-y for my skin. It made my skin not tight. I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. I think it just, it felt like it was clogging it, but it also just felt tight when I use it and it just didn't help my skin. So I de-stashed this a long time ago. <laughs> Next up, I have one of my CVS cotton round uh, sleeves. Um, I think I talked about one of these in the last empties. And basically, this usually contains about 80 to 100 cotton pads, just cotton rounds. Um, but there's no writing on it because it came in a pack of three. So there's, there's the sleeve. <laughs> And the last random item that I have is this little thing called a Steripod. And these are a really awesome product that I found at Bed Bath & Beyond a couple of years ago. I've been using them ever since. Basically, this little thing has in here antimicrobial stuff in it. And basically what you do is you take your toothbrush head and you, you know, put it. So let's say that this is my toothbrush head and I just put it around here and the toothbrush head sits inside of here. So you don't have to worry about any gunk or germs or bacteria or anything getting on your toothbrush head, especially in a bathroom where, you know, you're flushing the toilet, you're washing your hands, you're doing all this stuff. So I really like this. You can use them for like three months at a time. They come in a pack of two and they're like, 10 bucks for the pack of two. So I think these are great. If you have a Bed Bath & Beyond near you, grab them. They're awesome.